Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Now, um, in the last episode, I actually missed a treasure chest, and I'm going to go retrieve it now. What? Sonic Arrow. Okay, so it's a weapon for Marley. Okay, I'm back. Let me see if we can avoid these guys here. Well, that's going to be tricky. You can kind of just send them down this way, and then they'll start standing here dancing. Like dancing Nancys. Dude, I didn't think he was going to learn it that soon. Chrono just learned Luminaire. That's like his last... Um, that's his last spell, right there. It's like an ultimate lightning spell. And it is extremely powerful. Indeed it is. It is indeed. Oh, man. Okay, let's see if we can avoid these. Ha <laughs> ha. Sure enough did. Yeah, we must be a little over-leveled here, I don't know. Uh-oh. What do we got? <laughs> oh, he's gonna take his time producing enemies for us to fight. Well, oh, what, he's not gonna fight us himself? Well, what a dummy. Well, let's, let's try Luminaire. Now, what you can do is actually equip the gold stud on Chrono if you're gonna be using that, because... It's 20 MP to cast it, so if you use the gold stud, it's only 5 MP. You could actually cast it as much as 5 or 6 times, but this is like... I mean, look at that. Jeez, there's like nothing. Nobody could have survived that! Oh. Alright. Oh, hey, Masa. The ancient red rock has been passed down through the ages. From it, a magic pendant and a knife were made. You embody Melchior's dreams embod in within the knife? Huh. Does that make the red knife the Masamu? Masamune? <laughs> I can feel it! The pulse of eternal life! Huh, huh, huh. Aye, aye, aye. Uh-oh. Uh the man machine! Your majesty, it's too dangerous! <laughs> Mother! Don't stop, Scholar. We're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Oh. Too long have you waited. Yeah, what, what are you trying to do? I don't know. You spend your whole life trying to get eternal life, then it's kind of like, well, are you going to spend all eternal life trying to get eternal, eternal life or something? Oh. Okay, Frog just learned Cure 2. I'm not sure why Frog learns Cure 2 and Marl learns Cure 1, but okay, whatever. <laughs> Sure feels good to have that magic refilled. So here's the elevator and a whole bunch of guys to fight. Yeah, nice. I think in this case, I might actually keep this battle in. It's almost worth it to just go ahead and cast Lightning 2. Have the blue guys absorb it. Since they're at full HP anyway, it's not going to make a difference that they absorb it. But at least you take out the yellow ones. Then you can have Chrono turn around and use Water 2 to take out the blue ones. Oh, but then again, they do... Yeah, that's right, they counterattack with water to themselves if you hit them with the wrong element. I wasn't even thinking about that. I, I didn't get a chance to read what that said, but that's what it was saying. It was saying they counter with the, the with their element. Whatever. Anyway, he's done. So you're going to have a series of fights on this elevator, but it will well be worth the experience, I'll tell you that. Whew, that was sure a pain in the butt, let me tell you. But we got it taken care of. Now, you remember how we saw that magic tab earlier in the elevator room? Well, the only way to get that is to actually go back to the elevator and take it back up to where the tab is. The only problem with that is we'll have to go through all that area again because the elevator's not going to take us back down there. But this is worth it, so, yeah. I don't think you can actually, like, come back in and take it down again. No, I guess not. Okay, so I will meet you back down at the bottom, where I just was, so hang on. Okay, guys, we are back, and this is the room I was just in, after coming off of the bottom of the elevator. And we will now go to the room on the left, where there is three things. Uh-oh, Delta Force 3 monster technique. You know, maybe I should talk through this battle just to show this to you. Delta Force, that's similar to the triple tech that Chrono and 
Luca and Frog actually use. And someone actually brought up the issue of how I pronounce Chrono, which is Chrono, I think of Chronological, just without the logical, that's all. So, that's why. But I can see why someone would think it was Chrono, like Robo Chrono, it's, it would make the same sense, I guess, so. <clears throat> I remember saying before that it would make sense for Scala's name to be pronounced that way because, like, Scholar or Scheme or any other word that starts with S-C-H, but if you really think about names that start with S-C-H, it's like Schroeder, Schwinn, those are all pronounced like Sh. so it's like, well, you can see why it would be Shala, too. Okay, we flipped that switch. We have to flip the switches on either side of this room or else this one won't do anything, so... As you can see, nothing happens. Hope it didn't reset that left switch when I did that. So let me just uh, heal up real quick and take these guys out, and I'll be right back. Okay, flip the switch there. And now, when we come outside, this should actually work. Yes! And this is one of the more unusual visuals I've seen in the game. It looks like a red carpet rolling out over lava. Or at least that's what it seems like until you see the door at the end of it, and it's like, oh, that was all an illusion because there was a door. And you wouldn't roll out a red carpet and suddenly there'd be a door on the floor. This looks like it. The, maybe like we're actually walking in between the lava or something, like the lava was parted like the Red Sea or something. Okay, I'm going to take a look at my equipment here for a second because I want to see... Well, I guess we're kind of just going to play it by ear for now. Wait, that's, there was a treasure chest there. What are you doing? Let me see. I don't want elixir. There wasn't anything else in here, was there? So let's just move on. You made it this far. Maybe I underestimated you. This is the end. They will take care of you. Come, Golem Twins! And so now, not only do we get to fight one, we get to fight two. Two of these bad boys. But we were much more well prepared this time, so... What I'm gonna do is just do what I did before and alternate my attacks. Because if you use physical attacks on these guys, forget about it. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> But if you can use something multi-targeting before they get a chance to do what they're doing right now, that would help a lot. Let's go ahead and use heal. I'm just going to follow this up with some fire too here. Try to keep changing it up on him. Because as long as we're using techniques that are ours, at least one of us will be absorbing whatever they do. That is assuming that they use all multi-targeting spells, which I can't be sure of that. And what I'm using here is not the most powerful stuff. I could be using Luminaire, I guess. I forgot to mention that, actually. But, um, I gave Chrono the Gold Stud. I went ahead and did it, so he can cast the Luminaire for 5 MP. Which is definitely a good deal. But you want to keep changing it up here and make sure that they don't have the same spell out two times in a row. That'll keep them changing their course of action so that they won't be able to do anything they'll be so busy changing it, just like I said before with the first one. Of course, I died on that one, so a lot of good that strategy did, but again, I guess I just wasn't really fast enough. This may be no better, but uh, I'm just doing the first thing that comes to mind, kind of. Yeah, see, that's not a big deal. I, mean, I don't think their magic is as powerful this time around as the first one was, but then again, I can't be too sure about that. I thought I said I was going to equip each person with like the opposite male of whatever their na natural element was, but they don't seem to be equipped that way now, so maybe I never did that. I didn't go through with it or something. <laughs> it's no biggie, though. I mean, it's all good. Well, I did have Marley with the red male just now. So is Luca wearing the blue male? Then what would Frog be wearing? Shouldn't he have a red male too? Well, that's the thing. you got two characters that are water elemental, but you only got one red male to give to him, so... It's kind of iffy, whatever you do. I see, they haven't even touched us yet. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. You could pretty much just spend the whole fight doing this right here, and pretty much have no problem. And at the very least, you'll get both of them killed at the same time. Oh, shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. You know what? You could I could have charmed magic tabs from these guys. I didn't even think about that. Oh, my God. Well, I'm just gonna finish this guy off with physicals. He won't be a problem now. Jeez, eight damage. Is that the best you can do? Go on, finish him off. There we go. Yeah, I should have brought Isla into this because you can get two magic tabs here to charm them off of those guys. I guess it's not that big a deal. I mean, obviously, we're not having any trouble here. They beat the Golem Twins. Alright, this calls for the Golem Boss. What? Great, another one? Well, that's nice. 
What's this strange force? Could this be Lavos' energy? Yep, I'm afraid so, buddy. You've got a bad feeling about this. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. Well, wouldn't you... you it wouldn't matter if you expired if you were going to be immortal. Uh, or something. Jeez, I am up to 19 minutes here on this recording. But half of it's just me going back to on the elevator and these random battles and stuff. Even still, I think I'm just going to stop here before we get to see what this new does. But, you know, I'm going to show him what he does right now. This is the Hall of the Mammon Machine. Now is the time to turn back, new. <laughs> and he commits a suicide. At least I think he does. I don't know. They've got more save points in here. Okay, something big's about to happen. So I'm going to stop here, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Love you, and bye.